Welcome back to the channel. This specific airdrop is no longer a speculative airdrop because as we can see here on a token supply and distribution, we can actually see that they are working on an airdrop. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stand a chance to be eligible to get these free airdrops. And obviously, you're not going to be spending any dollar from your pocket. As I've shown you in previous videos, um, I've got a good track record with regards to these airdrops. Obviously, I don't take credit to myself because I do the research. There are people that are publishing this information on the internet. And I feel like I should be sharing this information with you so that you can take advantage of these new cryptocurrencies that are coming up. And the fact that you can actually get it for free is amazing. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to head over to sacred.finance. And obviously, I'm gonna leave the links in the description of this video. Once you're there, you want to make sure that you have your MetaMask installed on your Chrome or whatever browser that you're using. In this case, I'm actually using Chrome here. As you can see, I've got my MetaMask connected over here. So what we need to do, obviously, is that I need to move to a different tab where my MetaMask is not connected so that I can show you everything from the beginning. So here I've got the Brave browser opened and I'm going to go to sacred.finance. So what you want to do here is to connect your cryptocurrency wallet in this case, which is going to be MetaMask. If you don't know how to connect MetaMask, I've already covered that in previous videos. Just go to the playlist in this channel and obviously look for a playlist named wallet. Within that playlist, you'll get all the information that you need. I'm going to put my password here. So basically what we need to do is to connect MetaMask to communicate with this protocol here. So I'm going to click next and click connect and you can see that sacred is now connected to metamask and you actually have to switch networks so i'm gonna switch networks and everything should be good to go and after you've done that setup you want to make sure that you're on the test net over here and obviously go ahead and connect the wallet now my wallet is actually connected so what we're going to do here is we're going to move funds from our wallets, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to add those funds even though uh, those funds are gonna be on a test net. Those funds are gonna be on a test net, which means these are basically play tokens. So we've got our wallet connected here. Uh, what we wanna do is to obviously fund our wallet. If you come to my wallet here, you can actually see that my wallet has some little bit of funds. I'm gonna have to add some more just to show you guys. So when I go ahead and use this chain link to fund your wallet and make sure that you copy your address and actually paste it here from there you need to request funds so i'm going to send the request so what's happening here is that funds have been sent to my wallet so i'm going to go ahead and close that and you should see that my balance will be able to go up right here as you saw that so that's good so i'm going to come back to this page right here and over here, we're gonna move funds from our wallet to the actual protocol. And this could be for various reasons. You maybe want to send a cryptocurrency to a specific somebody, and you actually don't want that specific cryptocurrency to be tracked on the blockchain. If you recall, when you actually send funds on a blockchain, these funds are actually stored on the public ledger, meaning anyone with your address or that transaction ID can actually track your wallet and sort of like see the amount of funds that you're sending and obviously see the deposit that you have on your balance so that's what these guys are trying to solve here the ability for you to be able to send funds anonymously on the blockchain or funds that are not traceable not only that you can also use the protocol i believe obviously everything is still under development in this stage but i can see here yield which means that you can be able to earn yield interest on your funds. Obviously, we'll see. Uh, maybe we may make a different video on the future with regards to a more in-depth tutorial. But in this case, we just want to cover how to sort of like participate and interact with the protocol so that we can be eligible to get these free cryptocurrencies. So what we need to do here, um, I've, and I've already done this previously, you can see maybe before we even do that, you actually move funds from your wallet to, to the protocol and you can obviously be able to claim these funds back. So there are funds that I was able to put to the protocol earlier on. So maybe before we actually move the funds, let me go ahead and claim the funds that I've put on the protocol previously. I'm gonna copy my wallet and actually come and paste it here and continue. And you can see that I've got one Ethereum on the protocol. So I wanna go ahead and withdraw that. I don't know why I'm getting this error, but I think I can fix it by coming here and edit suggested guest limit. And I'm gonna put it to 25,000. 
I'm gonna save this and confirm. Everything should be good now. I don't know why it was giving me that error. So I'm gonna click on done here. Now, if we come to our wallet, you can see that the funds will actually go up. That means I have withdrawn my funds from the protocol. So let's start from the beginning. How do you actually deposit? Let me refresh the page. So basically I'm gonna come back and actually deposit one Ethereum to the protocol. This is the only thing you have to do in order for you to be eligible for this airdrop. So once I've got that selected, I'm gonna click continue. And what you need to do is to copy this. So I'm gonna click copy here and I'm just gonna paste it here. And obviously you can go ahead and save it. If you click on save, it's just gonna save it to your computer. So I'm gonna come here and actually paste my code here. Make sure that I copied it correctly. Control V. And after that, I'll submit. I'll then make a deposit. You can see I'm moving one ETH from my wallet and I'm gonna confirm that. And you can see that this deposit is now on the protocol. So that's all that you have to do in order for you to be eligible for this airdrop. Obviously we'll make follow up videos as anything progresses. So I'm gonna click on done. Over here, you can see that they've got your IP address. So what you don't wanna do is to open different browsers, for example, and then trying to um, interact with the protocol using different browsers as that can disqualify you from the airdrop itself. As you can see that the airdrop is actually happening as I showed you guys in the beginning of this video that it is confirmed that the airdrop is gonna be happening. So it's just a matter of when. And obviously you should come here and read more on this cryptocurrency and everything that they're trying to do. But the reason why I actually made a video on this is because uh, when it comes to the privacy in cryptocurrencies, there are some cryptocurrencies that cater for that category. Cryptocurrencies like PVX, uh, Monero, I think also Zcash, something like that. There are more of them, but you have to be holding those specific cryptocurrency in order for you know you to be able to move funds without anyone knowing that you're moving funds but i believe in this case you can be able to move ethereum or bitcoin whatever the case may be or whatever that may be supported within the protocol so if this then becomes successful i think it can be great on that regard that someone cannot go to it the scan for example and sort of like trace or track your transactions that you've been doing on the blockchain so for that reason i think it's worth a while for you to have a look at this and obviously um, i'm gonna do my extensive research on this protocol and sort of like see what is the yield farming for example and how much can you actually earn from um, those yield farming so as you can see here it says coming soon everything is still under development but if you actually come and see on the about you i think you can be able to see the roadmap for example and within the roadmap you can be able to see where they're at and what is expected on the protocol itself so go ahead and check it out i'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if you don't know how to set up your metamask you can go to the playlist in this channel and go to the playlist where i talk about wallets and you'll be able to set your metamask and also make sure that you check out the rest of the series where we actually talk about airdrops if you've been following this channel for a while you realize that we've made a lot of money with it drops literally free money so we want to make sure that you check that out so go ahead and check the videos popping on the screen right now so that you can be able to be better informed with regards to what to do in the world of cryptocurrencies i'm fossil designer i'll see you in the next video goodbye for now peace